No? I start again, there is some kind of uh, difficulty. We have a great Kirtan group here, so. Okay, it started now. No? Yeah, it's it's ready, it started. Good. Om again, Timirandasya, Gena Jena Salakaya, Chaksu Un Militam Yena, Tas my Shri Gudavena Maha, Shri Chaitanya Manovi Stam Stapitam Yena Bhutale, Swayam Rupa Tadam Mayam Dadati Swam Padati Kam. Namaum Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prastaya Bhutale, Shri Bhakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamine. Namaste, Saraswati Deve, Gaudavani Pracharine, Nirvishesha Sunyavadi Pasyatya Deve Sutarine, Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Abhunityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadara Sivasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So we're exploring a little bit about the uh, history and the essence of uh, a particular type of glorification of the Lord known as Kirtan. Kirtan is an interesting statement in itself. The word Kirtan comes from the etymological root word meaning Kirti. Kirti translated into English means fame. So one who engages in kirtan is glorifying the all-famous supreme personality of Godhead, Lord Sri Krishna himself. Kirtan also has a second meaning that those who perform kirtan also become famous. Famous in the sense that they are actually performing the highest activity of human life. Goloka, Premadan, Harinam, Sankirtan, Ratin Jan Milo Kene Upai. Statement from Naratam Das Thakur's prayers, that, which describes that this chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is not part of this world. It descends from the spiritual world into the hearts of the great souls. And from there, it goes outward into the, into the, into the world. The great souls connect with the Supreme Lord in devotion, and by the power of their devotion, they bring the Lord down in the form of Harinam Sankirtan. It's also mentioned Kali Kale Namarupa Krishna Avatar Namahoite Ayasarva Jagat Nishtara. The Krishna incarnates himself in the form of his own name, which is non different from him. That's called sound vibration, Sapta Brahman. Brahman means spiritual and Sapta means sound, spiritual sound vibration, which, are in a, which originates in the spiritual world. So the great souls who are, who are transparent or become what we say transits or transmissions of that sound vibration, spread that vibration to anyone and everyone. And when we take it up, we are performing what is called the essential principle of glorification of the Lord. Everything depends on the age. So this particular age that we live in is called the age of Kali. And the age of Kali is characterized, characterized by many anomalies both on the human level and on the social level, on the political level, on the world level. Every, there's so many difficulties. But as it says in Srimad Bhagavatam, Kali Kale, what does it say? Uh, there is one beautiful verse. Kaler doshani de raja asti echo mahagun kirtana eva krishna sya mukta sangam param bhajat. There's Kaler Dosha Nidi. It means this, this age that we live in is full of faults. 
we don't need an explanation to understand that it's all around us and we can experience it uh, through our own personal uh, lives and in the lives of others. Uh, but there is one benediction, dosha nidhi, but there is mahagun. Mahagun is that Krishna has descended in the form of his holy name. This is the bright light in this particular age. Not only is the means for glorifying Krishna, but it's the means for pushing back the difficulties of this age. It's the only means, actually, as because there is nothing that is as powerful, as effective as Krishna's holy name in order to awaken the living entity to their natural principle of happiness. Happiness is the natural constitutional existence of all living entities. And that happiness is within us. So the holy name descends from the spiritual world into the hearts of the great souls who distribute that, that mercy to us. And when we take up the chanting of the holy name with enthusiasm, with uh, determination, then we can experience that eternal happiness that is part of our existence. So chanting of the holy names of the Lord is the utmost principle of personal development and spiritual glorification. It covers all areas. So this is something that should be seen as the essence of our focus in life. Uh, therefore, chanting, it's quite easy to chant, but to continually chant is not so easy, especially in this age because there's so much other things going on in our own, so many obstacles. But if we make chanting the holy names of the Lord a regular performance of activities, we will find that uh, whatever problems we have, whatever shortages we have in our practice of spiritual life are automatically overcome by Krishna's holy name. And simply by remembering Krishna, Aside from chanting Krishna through the holy name, we can also find satisfaction and peace of mind in that. Because when you bring God into your life, you bring everything auspicious. And as it says in the Padma Purana, Nama Chintamani's Krishna, Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha, Purnya Sudya Nitya Mukta, Abhinna Tvam Nami Nami no. um, This chanting of the holy names of the Lord is not part of this material world. It is something purely spiritual, although it is sound vibration, although it can be spelled by the letters of the alphabet, still it has the potency of the Lord himself directly. And that name is, as, as this verse we just recited says, it is non-different than Krishna. There's no difference between Krishna and his name. Uh, so that's a, that's a powerful statement when you come to think of it, that God has put everything of his own characteristics, qualities, and energies simply in his own name. And therefore, when we absorb ourselves, and that word absorption is important because the mind will, uh, it's called chanchala. Chanchala means flickering. It likes to go here and there and think about different things and do different things, even while we're performing spiritual activities. But if we uh, understand that the essence of the experience of chanting of the holy name is qualitatively improved according to the level of our absorption, then we'll put more time and energy. And that, that is an experience. So we might say that's, an, that's a principle that applies to many things in life, the more absorbed you are in everything, the more you actually can experience the activity itself. And what Krishna's name, what is that experience that one starts to free themselves from difficulties, anxieties, and one starts to feel peaceful. Gradually that peace increases to a sense of happiness as happiness increases, it becomes joyfulness. 
as joyfulness increases, it becomes uh, ecstasy, or when we say joyfulness, when we say accelerated. And then when it comes to the highest stage, it becomes blissfulness, where it is just you and the holy name only. And in that, in that experience, then you are in the spiritual world, although you may be still present physically in this world, you are no longer in this world because consciousness is the medium by which we experience life. So when we take Krishna into our consciousness completely, then we are with Krishna. And Krishna never touches the material world. He is always a transcendental to the material world. He is above the material world. He is uh, the conductor of the material world, but not affected by it. So we can also rise above all the uh, mundane experiences that come by way of living in this world and experience Krishna directly through his holy name. So it's the most powerful, the most direct, and the most recommended, this is the important part, form of glorification of the Lord and the most recommended form of purifying one's existence where one can experience that desire of unlimited and continual happiness. So we're going to chant today. Uh, we have a group of devotees who are make chanting much of a very big part of their life. So we're going to perform this kirtan. And we ask all of those of you who are listeners to, in one way or other, join us in this wonderful process of kirtan, uh, take part accordingly, and uh, experience what Krishna wants you to experience, his presence in the form of his holy name. So thank you very much, and we'll begin kirtan now. Hare Krishna. Is that to just go uh, to?
हरे कृष्ण प्रभु
Senhor, você sabe que você vai frente? Perform Sankar Dhan. Harimo! Harimo! And your life will be sublime. And you'll make everyone else's life sublime. Shri Harinam Sankirtan Jai. To all of you on Facebook, thank you for joining us. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Very nice, Kirtan. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, devotees. Devotees, they. Yeah. Thank you. Nice, Kirtan. Thank you. Nice, Kirtan. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Fully energetic, energetic Kirtan. Ashish Prabhu. Ashish Prabhu. Ashish Prabhu. We have one. We have three. Yeah. Haribo. Haribo. Thank you. Thank you, Robert Prabhu, for organizing this. Thank you, and we'll see you same time. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Tomorrow. Sure, very much. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Hi, Paul. Thank you so much. Hey, Krishna.